my God. Oh my God. A woman records what appears to be a live cow being pushed by a bulldozer. And that bulldozer? Yes, he's, he's alive. alive. She was filming from public land. The farm owner drove up and confronted her. You cannot videotape my property from public property. Why are, why are you concerned about being filmed if you have no problem, you think this is a legitimate business? It is a legitimate business. Utah prosecutors charged the woman with agricultural operation interference. Am I free to leave or am I being detained? You're being detained. But she was on public land. They dropped the charges several months later. But what if she'd sneaked onto a farm to record what she considered animal abuse? More than 100 such investigations have been done. Activists pose as farm workers and secretly record the way animals are treated. An animal rights group released this undercover video of the dairy farm. It shows workers hitting, kicking, and throwing young calves. We are not showing the most disturbing parts of the video. Farmers upset about these recordings are persuading politicians to... Essentially outlaw these undercover investigations. The controversial ag gag law. The sixth state to pass an ag gag law. There are activists stalking farms to try to capture something that the public doesn't understand. Kay Johnson Smith speaks for a farm group that supports the ag gag laws, though they don't call them that. We but would call still, it farm protection. Farm, farm protection. farm protection. What about everybody else? Why do you get special protection? The agricultural community is the only business community that this sort of tactic is really um, being used on right now. I'm an investigative reporter. I can't do my job if there are laws that prevent me from showing things. Yes. Nobody believes it if you don't see it. These activist groups want to eliminate all of animal agriculture. Brittany, you're holding a dead body. This group live streams its protests on Facebook. You saw a dumpster with hundreds of dead birds. Many of the activists stormed into the farm. Some stole some of the, the baby ducklings. We were just able to rescue um, almost 30 baby ducks. Others chained themselves to the entrance of the farm. <laughs> Later, the activists released this video of the 30 stolen ducklings adding music and showing the birds running around, apparently happy. They stole those ducks after seeing this earlier undercover video of injured ducks at the farm. Mercy for Animals says their undercover investigations have led to criminal charges. Ag-gag laws often prevent such investigations, which is why farm states pass them. A bill making it illegal to apply for a job in a farming operation under false pretenses. But what about free speech? Ag-gag laws chill speech. Lawyer Amanda Howell speaks for the Animal Legal Defense Fund, a group that says ag-gag laws are unconstitutional. And they did get several states' laws struck down. Iowa then just passed a new law. Ag-gag 2.0, a bipartisan bill trying again to stop people from lying to get onto farms. These groups are exposing issues that are happening. If they really cared about animals, they would stop it right then. Instead, they go weeks and months without reporting anything to the farm owners. That's true. This investigation went on for months. Agricultural groups are now pushing laws that would force activists to report abuse quickly. Why don't they? They want to make their movie. They want to make their sensational video. It's because they care about the animals that they want to show that that's something that happens every day on these farms. Consistent, constant abuse. A company can say, this, this is a one-off. This is not just discrete actors. This is company policy. They say they don't want to just correct the abuse on that farm. They want to change all farming practices. What they really want is to stop people from eating meat, milk, and eggs. Do you want people to stop eating meat? I want people to act in their conscience. But you didn't really answer the question. Do you want people to stop eating meat or eggs? I think that, again, I, I, <laughs> are we asking, sorry, are we asking me personally or are we asking yes, the yeah, animal legal defense fund? She never did give a direct answer. Workers at the turkey farm abusing the birds. Animal rights activists have exposed things that need exposing. Walmart now taking a stand when it comes to the treatment of farm raised animals. How else would you have made these changes without sneaking into your farm? Well, that's to say that farmers can't be trusted. And I think that Apparently in the past, some could not. 
there are bad apples in every industry. However, I would say 99.9% .9 of farmers in America, they do the right thing every single day. Farming isn't always pretty. People have some right to privacy, no? I think we should all be worried when corporations are supporting laws that impinge our right to free speech. We should worry. Whatever you think of the activists, and I have problems with many of them, government shouldn't pass special laws that prevent people from revealing what's true.